Hey guys, it's Gladstick here, and welcome back to more Sims 3. So, you guys know that for a little while now, I've been saying that um, I've been planning a new Sims 3 um, Let's Play. And I wasn't really sure, but as you know um, from the video title, you can see, I you know what I'm doing now. Um, so, I had to wait for the game to be delivered to me, um, because... I tried to buy it in store, they didn't have it, so it took a little longer than I expected, um, but I have The Sims 3 Ambitions, and this is the LP that I'm going to be doing now. So, for anyone who doesn't know what The Sims 3 Ambitions is, it's basically taking your sim to work, but you are doing the work if that makes any sense at all. So it's basically playing through your Sims career but doing things um, instead of just looking at a building. Uh, and there's some really fun careers in here like firefighting, ghost hunting, um, personal investigator and it also comes with really two cool and amazing skills um, which is the eventing skill and the sculpting skill and you can make so much money from them. They are amazing. Seriously, I love them skills. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be playing through The Sims Ambitions, and basically what the aim of this LP is, uh, when I'm going to be um, finishing it, is basically I'm going to be starting a legacy. So you could also argue that this is a small legacy challenge, but the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to get through all of the careers, and I just want to show you basically what they are. So um, now I'm going to show you my sims and I'm going to go through a bit of their backstory. So if you don't like backstories, I know a few of you don't really like them, um, but I would like to do a backstory for my sims and I'm going to roll with it. So if you don't like it, you can just fast forward the video and um, until we get into the gameplay. So the, my backstory basically focuses on um, my male sim here, which is um, Mitchell Hatton and my female sim here is Nancy Hatton and these two are happily married. So basically they moved out of their previous town um, because Mitchell is a well-known ghost hunter and he's very famous and in his uh, last town um, they had a really big ghost problem and um, he was so good at his job he basically um, got rid of all the ghosts from that town so if there's no ghosts in that town no more he's out of business. So there was no more work for him and their bank balance was dwindling and dwindling and they had to do something and there was no other choice except for move to this beautiful town of Twinbrook um, which you can see right here. This is the town that has come with um, ambitions and personally is one of my favourite um, and you can see it's got that sort of like the town feel and then you've got like a more of a swampy feel over here which is really making it unique seriously. Um, and it's really lovely town. Um, my game's been a little bit laggy today, guys. Um, I'm not really sure why, but you, you just have to roll with that. Um, so yeah, they basically um, sold their house in their previous town and moved to Twinbrook. Um, Nancy doesn't really have much of a backstory, but she's basically a teacher, um, which is another career you get in um, Ambitions is the um, the teaching career um that unfortunately isn't a um a career where you can actually do things it is actually a rabbit hole but nevertheless it is still a new career so we're going to dive into that and uh, have a look at that as well so i just want to take you through their house this is one of the starter houses you can get i was um debating whether to make them um somewhat well off because um mitchell does have somewhat of a good bank balance because he is quite famous in his um, career and people know him but as I told you their bank balance kind of dwindled because they were trying to stay in their town for as long as possible so they could only afford this really cheapy house um, it doesn't look like the house you would move into um, I did make some modifications to it quite a lot actually because it is um, quite a small house but I've changed it up a little bit and I did cheat and give them a few um, extra simoleons just to change the house and make it livable for this LP but it's not too much um, I just bought them the um, I just remodeled a little bit and bought them the sculpting and inventing table um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and press play <laughs> and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna check my um, autonomy is on for, um, high which it is so that's fine 
and we're going to go get some jobs. So um, Mitchell here needs to go over to the uh, town hall and he's going to go ahead and no, sorry, not the town hall. He needs to go ahead and go to the science department, which is, that's the military department. Where is the science department? That's the medical department. I don't think it's in there. No, it's not. Where is the science department, guys? I haven't played in this town for a long, long time. Um... Science department, there it is. Ghost hunting profession. Let's go ahead and go there. And Nancy, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the the school, which is just by your house, which is really going to be convenient. And you're going to want to take the join the education career. I just saw Nancy had the mood look saying an unfinished room. Did I forget to paint a wall? Ah, uh, this here. Okay, let me t just do this quickly. Let's go to build mode. And we'll quickly just do this. Fill this in. Is the other side painted? Nope. There we go. We don't want that nasty mood look there. There we go. All done. You want another guitar skill? We can totally do that. Uh, you want to buy a guitar? We can totally do that. Where is Mitchell? Is he nearly there? He's there now. So let's go ahead and go over to Mitchell and let's see um, the science department for Twin Book. So the ghost hunter career, tarot card reader. Ghosts and spirits are wandering out of their graveyards and the catacombs. Locals are terrified and the children cannot sleep through the night. Who you, Who's the town going to call? You. If you have a title, the um, metaphysical and the courage to combat the natural paranormal. The paranormal, sorry. So here we have a notification which just says, at this level, don't be surprised if other sims don't take your profession seriously. Ghost hunting is a strict um, discipline that blurs the lines between science and sci-fi. Good work and professionalism will go through a long way in the building respect for your um, expertise. Mitchell H um, Hatton has received an official ghost hunting uniform and a banshee banisher. Both um, are great tools for sending ghosts and spirits to the great beyond. Mitchell now makes 208 simoleons per week and works for 5 p.m. and 3 a.m. So he works through the night. Okay, so basically how um, job professions work compared to careers is similar to the, um, the daycare career. You will get paid once a week, um, which is um, stipend, I think it's pronounced, I'm not sure. So you get paid that on a Sunday and a um, a at the moment, we get paid 280 simoleons um, per week, but then um, we're going to do job experience and we will um, also get that up and then we'll get promoted and we'll get more per week. So the way we get this up is we go to investigate the, um, the activity, we banish the spirits and we gain logic skill. So we're going to want to work on that. Um, and also, once we've um, captured spirits, we can also come back to the science department and sell, sell them for extra simoleons, which is going to be really, really good. Uh, talk about new job. No, we don't want to do that. Gain a logic skill. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. So, now I want to just go over to the junkyard, which is uh, June's pick and pull. So, I'll show you what we're going to do over there once we get there. And I'm going to just follow Nancy over to the school. So the education career, she is a playground monitor. Do you want to inspire the leads of tomorrow? leaders of tomorrow? How about making a positive impact on the youth in the community? Is it payback time for all of those tough teachers you had to endure? Whatever your motivation, I bet you can't argue with summers on the beach. So accept the education career. So Nancy is a playground monitor who earns 20 simoleons per hour and works from 8am to 2pm. So Nancy, can you go back home? <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, goodbye. So let's go ahead and go back over to Mitchell. And let's go to the junkyard. So this is what is involved with the... Um, Wait till it loads here. My game's being a bit slow today. This is what is involved when it comes to the inventing skill. So Mitchell is going to come to the um, 
the junkyard every single day to collect scrap uh, and scrap will allow us to tinker on the table which will make new inventions and get our skill up you can however if your sims are rich buy scrap from directly from the table but it's very pricey so i like to dig through the scrap every day um the things that are glowing and get new scrap also you might be able to find items here that you can sell so that's extra simoleons once you've done that, you can head on home, Mitchell, and they will get very smelly as well. So you want to do this in the morning before they have a shower and then go home for a shower. So let's go ahead and go back to Nancy, who is making a sculpture out of clay. Good job, Nancy. I want you to actually do this. So she is sculpting a sculpt sculpture out of clay. Once you get this skill up quite high, you can actually sell these at the consignment store. Um, so I'm just going to go through their um, trades, talking about the consignment score, store. Sorry, Nancy is a workaholic, she's a vegetarian, she's a savvy sculptor, she's eco-friendly, and she's a born saleswoman. The last three came with ambitions. Um, the saleswoman is going to let us sell um, our items, um, so our inventions and our sculptures, more money. And um, our eco-friendly, basically, um, she doesn't like driving in a car, so we're going to have to get her um, a bike, and um, that's basically it. And Savvy Sculptor allows us to um, less accidents, because you can actually have accidents with Sculptor, like um, the sculpting table, and the whole block of whatever you're making will actually be destroyed, because you have to pay for a whole block. So if it is destroyed, you actually waste money. Who's this? Oh, some neighbours. Who are you? <laughs> Armour drill and blaze kindle. Hmm. Okay, we're not going to invite you in just yet. I'm sorry. So let's go see how uh, Mitchell is doing. As you can see, guys, there are a lot of new things in this expansion pack, so there's a lot to explore, and we haven't even scraped the surface yet, seriously. <clears throat> so Mitchell is a slob, he's excitable, he's a heavy sleeper, and he is friendly. He's also an eccentric, which is going to help him um, on the inventing table, so your sim will have a higher chance of discovering new inventions while dabbling on, on the inventing table. Um, your sim will be faster at making discovered mm. inventions, yeah. and your sim will have a higher chance of uh. making improved, uh, what was that? Mm. Improved widgets, yeah. okay. So once you've done that, I want you to go home. Um, it's going to be, um, we have to, when, um, when Mitchell is inventing, we have to be very careful because they can actually set themselves on fire, which means we have to run to a shower to put ourselves out because if you don't, this sim will die. So um, when you're using the vendor table, um, you need to be always with them because it is very high caution because you never know what's going to happen. So Mitchell has collected all the scrap in this pile. That's 44 units of scrap, which is very, very good. So Nancy wants to make a, a, a clay sculpture, sorry, and she wants to sculpt something worth at least five, 50 simoleons, which is going to be really useful because she's going to make a lot of money really quickly, actually. So I'm going to leave her to do that. She also wants to buy a guitar, which can be done. So um, we'll go ahead and buy a guitar, wherever that is. We'll have this one. That's 600, that's quite a lot. Never mind. Oh, what's she making? As soon as you can see the object starting to form, you don't have to panic that um, the the clay block is going to break or whatever block for that. Um, did someone just fart? Oh my god, woman! Please leave! You are disgusting! Look at you! Ugh! You're the, you're, no, go away. So yeah, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted hmm. um, by hmm. that lady's gassy bowels. Um, as soon as you can see the sculptor, you don't have to worry about the um, whole block failing because you know you're going to make something. Hmm. And this looks like um, some sort of statue or um, some sort of table, maybe. Mitchell is actually on his way home now. When does he start work? He starts work tomorrow. Okay. 
Oh, that lady's gone. Thank God. You guys may be actually wondering what these are. The, I'm sure you guys know what they are. Um, these are actually washers and dryers which came with Ambitions. Or if you bought the washer and dryer set, the many sets on the store, you actually unlock laundry. But they originally came with Ambitions. And basically, whenever a sim... Oh, congratulations, Nancy. You made us feel first statue. Um, we'll go ahead and add... No, we won't want to put things on there. We'll go ahead and um, put it in your inventory. Can we not put it in your inventory? I guess not. We'll just go ahead and put it in our family inventory. There we go. And you can go ahead and play your guitar for a little while. There we go. We can start learning the guitar skill. Uh, Mitchell, what the hell? Why are you sleeping? No! Come get your in the self in the shower. You've just been to the scrapyard and now um, you're gonna be all smelly. Um, so yeah, normally when they change into a new costume or outfit, the um, the clothes automatically go into the basket. But because like that, but because um, Mitchell is a slob, we're gonna have to chase around the house after him because he's just gonna leave clothes wherever he wants to. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be a bit of annoying, but um, I'm sure we'll be fine. You want to get that sculpting skill? We can go show, show, do that. Um, I would also like to take Mitchell to the library because we need to learn some um, what do you call it? Logic skill. Of course you do. Um, where is the library? That's the bookstore. The library's right next to it. There we go. How convenient. There we go. So Mitchell's going to go over to the library. Nancy, I want you to just stop playing that for just a moment, but please put it in, in your inventory. No, Nancy, put it in your inventory. You can take it with you, I don't mind. Put it in your inventory. There we go. And I just want to go around the uh, town, guys, and show you some of the new buildings, because there are quite a few new buildings you get with ambitions. So the first one here is the uh, the salon. And this is going to come in useful, especially with the stylist career, because this is where the, your um, stylists are going to um, actually um, work. But for the moment, we are not actually going to be doing the stylist career. We are already going to be doing the teaching career, and we're going to be doing the ghost hunting. So that will come a little bit later, but we will definitely see it, so you don't need to worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and head on over there. Oh, that's right, I need to get Nancy a bike because she's going to get this uh, Wasting Natural Resources uh, moodlet because she's an eco-friendly person. There we go. So this is the salon, and basically we can go over here and um, get makeover from, or we can make over ourselves. Um, or we can get a stylist makeover, but which is like a really good makeover. But we don't have enough money at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is basically where the stylist comes over. I'll explain more when we get to the stylist career, but not right now. And um, there's some toilets in the back. Um, I don't think there's anything upstairs. No, it's just an empty building, which is kind of annoying, actually, guys. I hate when this happens. Um, the th the Sims 3 um, team actually do this to make the buildings look bigger on the outside. Um, which is really good, but I wish they would fill this up seriously. Um, it's a bit annoying, but um, what can you do, I guess? What's Nancy doing? She's going to go ahead and play on her phone. Mitchell, are you at the library yet? Yeah, he is. So we can go ahead and look at the library here. Mitchell, I would like you to come on over and read. Um, where's the, is there any log logic books? No. There's no logic books. Well, that's annoying. You're a library and there's no books here to read. Or any you think useful. Um, so go ahead and go shop for books, Mitchell. Nancy, the next place I want you to go to is um, do, 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 the fire station. 
and I'll show you what's over there. So the fire station is actually a really good place to go if your sims are homeless. Um, if you're actually doing some sort of homeless challenge or things like that, you could actually come in here and use the resource in here. There's a fridge, there's, um, oh, there's some books. Uh, we'll go to skill and we'll go grab a logic book. And can you please read that, Mitchell? So the buildings here, um, so this is where the fire people, the fire people, um, the fire department are when they go to work. There's an inventing table here. You can use that. Um, and there's some, there's fridges and things like that because I think the fire um, department comes to work quite early so they can go ahead and um, come here and um, use their moolets and uh, train their athletic skill and uh, things like that. Um, there's a fire engine, as you can see. Um, there's some skill building items, such as um, an easel, some fun, such as a foosball table. Um, a computer, as you can see, Nancy's on. You can also see there's some beds here, so they can sleep here as well. They can stay over if they don't wish to um, go home. And there's a telescope. So that's really cool if your sim is homeless and wishing to have some, some place to stay. Um, they can go ahead and um, do this. They can stay here, which is really, really cool. Some challenges on The Sims 3 are really useful, and it comes really useful for the fire department. What was that $9 for? I'm not too sure. Oh, well. So the next place we're going to go to is the consignment store, which is going to be Nancy's best friend. This is where we're going to sell all of our um, sculptures at, uh, which we can go ahead and actually sell the first one we made now. As soon as she gets over here. There's a crazy lady on the floor playing with um, a toy. This town is full of crazy people, I can tell you that now. Um, unfortunately, we can't actually browse because there's no one there at the moment. Uh, there's no store consigner or whatever. Um, so unfortunately we can't actually um, look in the store. But we'll have to do it at a later day. I don't think there's anything upstairs. Nope. The gym is really nice here as well. But I'm not going to show you that because it's not actually a new lot. But I'm sure we'll get round to it. And last but not least is the laundromat. This is where if your sims don't um, own a washer or dryer, they can come out actually ahead, go ahead over to the um, laundrette and they can go ahead and wash their clothes there. That lady is crazy, guys. Look at her. Don't speak to her. She's crazy. There are some very, very crazy sims in this town. I will warn you now, guys. I will warn you now. So just a simple building with loads of washers and dryers in. Very cool. There we go. And that's basically it, guys. So, I'm going to ha have um, Nancy head on home. And I'm going to have um, Mitchell head on home as well, because they're getting a bit hungry. And I'm going to end this first part of Let's Play Ambitions here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment for a new LP. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And take care.